Hi is 6, today is Thursday the 25th of June, and our LO is I can use varied sentence structures to add suspense. Have a think about why we want to have a variety of sentence structures, especially with suspense writing, why we want to include those long and short sentences. So yesterday you should have planned your piece of writing. Have a look back through your plan and have a look at the questions down the side and make sure you can really clearly answer them because this is going to help you when you start your writing. Make sure that you can also very clearly answer these questions. Where is it going to take place? Who's the victim? Who's the perpetrator? So which two animals you have chosen? What clues will you give? You might give a sound that one of them might make. You might give um, a hiding place that one of them might be in. But make sure that it doesn't give away the animals until right at the end. Because the last question you need to be able to answer is how will it end? Because that plot twist is the really exciting bit of your story. So you need to have it really clearly in your head how you're going to give it away. So today you need to think back to all those techniques we used to add mystery to our writing last week and the techniques we've looked at to add suspense this week. And our LO is to use varied sentence structures. So we need to think about using those long descriptive sentences mixed with shorter sentences. So make sure you have an idea in your head of how you're going to do this. And you might even want to add some one word or two word sentences onto your plan. So thinking about your LO, about using varied sentence structures, so those long and short sentences, listen to these two extracts and see if you can see how they've done this. He took a long deep breath, cautiously scanning his surroundings. Once again, the gloom sweeping over him in a curtain of black. The victim suddenly appeared, oblivious to his whereabouts. Hovering above him, the assassin gave a smirk. Swoop. Rip. As the moon's dancing fingers shone between the gnarled and twisted trees, a dark figure watched her unsuspecting victim. The victim quietly walked along a trodden path between the towering trees, stepping on rustling leaves and broken twigs. Crunch. Snap. The murderer smiled as they started to amble towards her hiding place, her bright eyes focused intently on her target. Soon, she whispered to herself with a menacing smile. Can you spot the variation in the long and short sentences here? And do you notice how sometimes the one-word sentences have been used with the technique of onomatopoeia? So crunch, snap. You can imagine the reader being there, hearing those sounds, and that's a really good way to add some suspense. So as well as varying your sentences, make sure you think about the different ways you can add suspense to your writing and show, not tell, being more subtle. Remember, this is a short story, so we don't want to be writing a very long story. If you think back to the assassin story, it was quite short, and you could type this story up if you wanted to. So you need to think very carefully about every sentence that you write, making the best choices, so that although it's a short story, every single sentence is very well placed and you've thought about it carefully. Remember, you don't want to give away your animals until right at the very end. So think about your plan and make sure you know how you're going to do this. Good luck with your writing. When you've finished, make sure you send it in to your teachers because I'm sure they would really love to read it. Remember this is a short story, so try not to write too much, and remember that it is creating mystery and suspense rather than horror. When you finish writing, see if you can go back and check your punctuation, your spellings, and to see if you could use any more ambitious vocabulary. Good luck!